In Animorphs number three, The Encounter, narrated by Tobias, the story unfolds with Tobias and Rachel taking a bold step. They liberate a captive red-tailed hawk from Dylan Danhawk's used cars, where it's being used as a mascot for advertising. Tobias soon notices something unusual, a shimmer in the air. The next day, he investigates further and witnesses a flock of geese seemingly collide with an invisible barrier in the sky. He suspects it's a Yurk ship using optical camouflage, and he shares this discovery with the rest of the Animorphs. Morphing into wolves, they follow the last known direction of the ship, which leads them to a lake guarded by human controllers and hork bajir controllers. The ship decloaks, revealing itself as a massive logistics vessel, gathering water and air for the Yurk pool ship in orbit. Tobias also spots the liberated hawk and feels a strong connection to it. Their plan is to morph into fish, get sucked up by the ship, and disable its cloaking device above a city, exposing the Yurk invasion to the public. But Tobias faces a personal crisis when he succumbs to his hawk instincts and kills a rat. Disturbed by this experience, he goes to Rachel's gymnastics exhibition at the mall and attempts suicide by flying recklessly. Marco comes to his rescue by breaking a skylight, allowing Tobias to escape. For several days, Tobias lives in the wild, reverting to his hawk instincts. His human side resurfaces when he saves a man from hork -Bajir. Tobias realizes he must continue fighting the Yurks to remain human. The Animorphs revisit the lake, hide in a cave, and morph into trout. Tobias carries them to the lake to avoid detection, but they find themselves trapped inside the sealed water tank. They signal Tobias to bring down the ship if possible. Tobias, identified as an Andalite bandit, lands on top of the logistics ship to avoid attacks. He seizes a Draken beam from a Taxon, flies to the bridge, and fires it, causing the ship to crash into other Yurk vessels. The Animorphs escape, but Tobias witnesses the female hawk being killed by the Yurks, mistaking her for him. Distressed by the hawk's death, Tobias realizes that his emotions are what make him human, and he discusses this revelation with Rachel, finding a balance between his hawk and human identities.